and several meetings with various world leaders are slated for the day for Prime Minister Modi, but the focus will be on his meeting with the leader of opposition in Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi. The meeting with the Nobel laureate is slated for evening today. Frail but feisty, she is the face of the opposition in Myanmar. She has also been criticized for not speaking out vociferously on issues of attacks against Rohingya Muslims, despite a strong presence in parliament. National League for Democracy chairperson and Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi has cautioned global leaders in attendance at the country's capital, Nepito, for the ASEAN summit. Suu Kyi has still not been allowed to run for the president's job in elections slated for 2015. And her statement comes a day before she calls on Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who met the Myanmar president as part of his first set of bilateral meetings. Will Modi take a stand? Indian government is cautious in its response. Even as it champions democracy, New Delhi realizes Myanmar is key to its connectivity, energy and border security issues. Um, our approach as South Asians, as uh, neighbors, is an approach which is different from other uh, countries' approaches. Ours is an approach where we will discuss all issues candidly, uh, quietly, and uh, with uh, understanding of issues that developing countries face. Interestingly, the U.S. President Barack Obama, who is also in the Myanmar capital, is set to meet Suchi. With Smita Sharma in Nepito, Bureau Report, headlines today. And joining us live is our deputy editor Smita Sharma. She's tracking developments for us in Nepito. Smita, give us a sense of uh, what the Prime Minister is up to today. Of course, ahead of that summit, we do know he met uh, Najib Razak as well. And we've been getting uh, pictures from his Twitter account actually every now and then. And he seems very charged up, very enthusiastic. This, of course, uh, is also looking ahead at the meeting with Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, which will be a diplomatic test of sorts for the Prime Minister. So now, of course, you know, Narendra Modi, in a way, if you see, ever since he has taken charge as the Prime Minister, he has developed this almost into a trademark style where he really indulges into diplomacy. So whether be it reaching out to Xi Jinping or Abe in Japanese through Twitter or, in fact, exchanging greetings with Tony Abbott, the Australian Prime Minister. Uh, remember, Australia will be the next stop after uh, he spends another day here in ASEAN Summit tomorrow in Naipito. I'm really at the International Convention Center where, of course, the ASEAN ceremony this morning kicked off. Uh, and uh, this is the Media Convention Center, which is just next to the International Convention Center security, very tight right now. Prime Minister Narendra Modi just completed the bilateral with the Malaysian Prime Minister. He will shortly be entering into, of course, that meeting uh, with the Thailand's head of of state but let also quickly take our viewers to what really was the crux of uh, the Myanmar's president Hain Sen's uh, speech uh, as he spoke and inaugurated the ASEAN summit remember the ASEAN is looking at a politically cohesive economically integrated socially responsible ASEAN community uh, there is of course that uh, focus on fighting global terror terrorism he did condemn the downing of the MH17 remember uh, the aircraft that came down because of the detail it was caught in the crossfire between the uh, pro-Russian rebels and the Ukrainians uh, also fighting the Ebola virus. So these are broadly the issues that the summit really is looking at. But the India-ASEAN summit will be at 12.45 India time this afternoon. Uh, but uh, yes, as you mentioned, Aung San Suu Kyi's meeting is something where India will have to do that delicate uh, type of walking in between, you know, in uh, being the champion, that advocate for right. democracy voices, while also maintaining its crucial energy security interests with Myanmar. So now Absolutely. Smita Sharma, thanks so much for joining us with the very latest from Nepito.